Hey guys, what's up? So today's my free day in San Francisco and I thought it'd be fun to go on a little adventure which of course involves violin and wait for it, Chinese food. Bet you weren't expecting that, right? So let's get started. So San Francisco has a really large Asian population. Out of a total population of over 800,000 people, 35.8% are Asian Americans, with the largest subgroup being Chinese Americans by far. So it makes sense that today we're going to try out some Chinese restaurants, and depending on how the food makes me feel, I might even open up my case and play a little bit. So the first stop is going to be a place called Yank Sing, which is, features contemporary and traditional dim sum. Think of places like Hong Kong, Guangzhou, and uh, typically it's served in small steamer baskets, either made with bamboo, and uh, you enjoy it together with hot tea. So it's kind of like the Chinese version of brunch. Dim sum can be prepared in many different ways. It can be steamed, baked, broiled. Wait, no, it can't be broiled. Can it be broiled? I've had broiled dim sum before. Stir fried, I mean, a whole different variety of ways. But, you know, they're always handmade, so that's the key. I guess with a lot of care and stuff. Kind of like classical music. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna cook this Bach up some Baroque style, <laughs> handmade, like the dim sum. No? Okay. So we're gonna start with the shrimp dumpling because every time I go to a dim sum place, this is one of those things that it's really simple but also can be very difficult to get right. So we're gonna give this a go. It's kind of like Mozart. It's really simple but a little, okay, yeah, right. All right, anyway, here we go. Cheers. Good. They are right. All right, next. Delicious dumpling. Now we have the xiaolong bao, the barbecue pork bun, soup dumpling. Now, oh yeah. So worth it not to eat breakfast for this. All right, so the next place that we're gonna go to is called Chili House. It specializes in Shetuan cuisine, which Shetuan is famous for two things, panda bears, but more importantly, is it's famous for its super spicy peppercorns. Now these Sichuan peppercorns uh, have a special chemical in them which actually makes your mouth slightly paralyzed when you uh, eat it. So I'm a little bit nervous because although I do like spicy food, uh, this kind of stuff is still on a whole nother level. Now I'm gonna try one of these chili things. All right. I'm sweating. Oh. Still sweating. Grab some, grab some more water, please. Wow. I I have had so much food today. I don't even know if I can still play the violin. But you know what? We have to get dessert. There's always more room in the stomach for dessert. This is 
been a great day full of a lot of food and now I'm just so full and ready to take a nap. But before we do that, I think it would be great to play a little bit of violin. I know they say that you shouldn't exercise uh, after you eat, but I wonder if violin playing applies to that as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. As you probably know by now, doing these short clips and films is a hobby of mine. But more importantly, reaching out to you and feeling like we're connected no matter where we are, that's what really drives me. And special thanks goes out to the New Century Chamber Orchestra for bringing me to San Francisco this week. And it's actually my first time doing a little bit of conducting. So our first set of concerts is tonight. If you're in the area, come check us out. See ya.